Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging while coming at you with thoughts of the day. I'm kind of giggling. I'm in a much better mood than I was earlier. I apologize for that, but hey, I'm human. What can I do? Jordan, you know, Jordan Allen, he comments a lot here in the section. He's been with me for years. He was my first producer on lounging with Lisa. <laughs> He's been getting notified of my old videos because evidently, like if you have a conversation with somebody under one of your videos, it, um, it might recommend older videos to the person with whom you are corresponding. And so I'm getting all these messages under video from two years ago and whatnot. So I went over and looked at it. Holy ghost. I mean, do you know, one year ago right now is when I started my reduction program. Uh, Cause I was getting a little, how can I put this gently large? And I mean, it, okay, whatever. But I went over and looked at the video and I look like I have mumps. Yeah, I do. So I'm kind of glad I took that weight off, ladies and gentlemen. Not to brag, but it is quite an accomplishment. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Anyhow, um, yeah, I just thought maybe I'll try to do uh, Hauserman 101, at least Hauserman 101 Part 2 right now. First of all, I'm not sure if I'm going to do that or not, because I, I just I have to be in the right mood for it. You know what I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen? I'm working on the game. And I almost got kind of frustrated and burst into tears a little bit because... You know, I want to make it fun for all involved, and I don't know anything about Nostradamus. Now I do. Now I'm learning, and I'm t I'm just having fun with it. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't need to get all deep and into the predictions or whatever, although there will be some questions about that. But um, one of the questions is, uh, well, I give some choices in terms of something that he allegedly said to someone else. And I kind of made the last choice sort of funny, so that cheered me up. I was actually laughing. Look, I need to entertain myself. Nobody else is going to do it, okay? Um, yeah, so I'm working on that right now. I've been working on it most of the day, although I didn't really start till later. So it hasn't been like I've thrown my every all my life into it because I took... Oh, I tried to take a nap, and that didn't really work. And then um, finally I was able to take like an hour snooze. Uh, in the old days, I used to be done with the game by now and have like the lounge set up and everything. But since I have no real life anymore and the game is all I have to look forward to, all I have for which to look forward, no, to which to look, <laughs> I don't screw the grammar. Okay. Uh, yeah, I just kind of take my time now. Oh, oh, good news. Exciting news. I got unemployment today. That's kind of fun, isn't it? It's a blast. Yeah, I went right into the old account. Yeah. First time in my life, as I mentioned before. Uh, what else? Who else? Um, so, yeah, it's been just a weird day. As you know, this morning I was pretty cranky. And now I'm not real cranky and I am having fun with the smoking and G-sharp game. Maybe I should read you one of the questions. I could carry the phone over and we'll do one of those previews. It's on this right now. Okay, sorry. Having fun. Don't judge me. <laughs> Something cute about that video that Jordan, um, that I was looking at, is Zoe was sitting behind me. She was so cute. Okay, I'll go ahead and read this one to you, and then you'll prob then you'll know the answer for Sunday. What major cootie-filled event caused Nostradamus to leave medical school in the year 1520 when he was 16? Pause this and guess. I'm going to pause this well and guess. Okay, the answer is the plague, ladies and gentlemen, the plague. And here's more information on that. Nostradamus, I just like saying his name, enrolled in the University of Avignon, A-V-I-N-G-N-O-N, in 1519 at the age of 15. But he was forced to leave a year later when the town was stricken by the plague and the university closed its doors. Subsequently, he spent eight years traveling through France, Italy, and Spain, researching herbal remedies while working as an apothecary. I had to learn how to pronounce that, too. I had to look it up. A-P-O-T-H-E-C-A-R-Y, apothecary. I had to go to YouTube and ask how to say it. I do that. I don't know how to say things. I go look it up, or else I just say in the lounge, I don't know how to say it. Don't be out. And then usually Nicholas or... Gene or somebody like that will give me the breakdown. Piano Man does that. I'm sorry. It's a profession considered inferior to that of a doctor. Isn't everything considered to be inferior to those great white lab coat wearing 
uh, um, gurus of the day. Don't get me started, ladies and gentlemen. Don't do it. Um, okay, so at any rate, yeah, the plague is one of the answers. Uh, let's see how many. I'll tell you how many questions I have thus far. I don't think I'm going to do Hauserman 101 Part 2 tonight. Don't make me, ladies and gentlemen. I just want to have a light and airy conversation. Like Hauserman 101 Part 2 would be that deep. It might be. Hold on. Plus, I need a book to be over here, and Spencer has it next door. Okay, hold. I think I have 16. I don't have them numbered yet in case I have to move them around so they're not all lumped in together. Uh, for those who are new, by the way, now that we're 5 minutes and 38 seconds in, I don't even know if I have new people. I did, and then I didn't, and I might, and they might be lurking. I don't know. Hold on. I've been really pulling up my hair today. Like, you know how it's wavy naturally, and I've pulled it. Because that's what I do. Uh, what was I saying? Um... How many things I have left and I was going to tell you something. Oh, God, let me gather my thoughts. I wish I could edit. I remembered new people. On Sundays, uh, every Sunday at 1230 Eastern, here in the belly of the beast, that means the United States, we play games in the lounge. We've done it since 2017 in September. Oh, my! I have an anniversary of the channel coming up. Three years in May. I don't remember when, though. I just started making videos in May of 2017. Yeah. Okay, moving along. Live uh, game, and it's trivia-based, and... Well, it depends. We play different games that I make up, but if I'm celebrating somebody's birthday, it's based on their hobbies, their likes, their passions, uh, other things that happen on that day. Uh, you know, this, that, and the other thing. And so that's what we're doing this Sunday. Come on over. During that time, there's, it's just, you know how through the week I come on here and like maybe complain about the thing or whatever. I don't do that on Sunday. There's no discussion of the thing. There's no discussion of politics or what hideous political talk show you live for or for which you live uh, or any of that. It's just the game, light and airy, gathering with people and forgetting about life for a while. La da 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 da. Um. Okay. Uh, yeah, so that's what we do, and that's what we're going to do this Sunday at 12.30, smoking in G-sharp. A woman who has changed her name since she used to lounge before, and now she's back to lounging but with a different name. And I'm not used to any of the stuff she digs, like she also likes astrology. Astrology, astronomy, I think I know the difference now, yeah. And so we're going to get into that a little bit. Nothing deep, I mean, it's just, you know, basic jazz. I don't have to go crazy and... And, uh, you know, do a term paper on it or anything like that. It's just a way to focus on an individual and make them feel spatial, ladies and gentlemen. Spatial. Okay, I think I'm done. Really, what else can I do? Not much. Uh, lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging while coming at you with thoughts of the day. I'm just going to reach back here and grab a book. See what I come up with. I really don't know what it is. Join me. Join others. I have a couple. Drop your political identities, oh dear. Uh, let's focus on issues, leave labels at the door. Research before you judge. This might be crooked the whole way through. It's okay, though. And remember, war is a racket. Don't take my word for it. Check out General Smedley Butler and what he had to say. And I happened to uh, grab C's, Christopher Hitchens book. No one left to lie to about the delightful um, couple that you see before you. Yeah. And, you know, he actually spoke, had um, excellent grammar, but the reason why he called it this, because really no one left to lie to isn't really appropriate. And we must be appropriate at all times. What would it be, though? No one left to lie to. No one to, um, I don't know, whatever. It just looks funny, but um, because he... He got the idea from some sort of other, like an article or somebody who said something. And they were up talking and he said, you know, the Clintons have no one left to lie to. And Hitchens latched onto that and decided to name it that. Yeah, a little bit of a trivia there that I probably got completely messed up. No one left to lie to. Okay. Um, that's all, I think. Yeah. I should be done. It's almost 10 minutes long. What did I say? Not much. Not much of anything. I will see you tomorrow. Live for you. I'm trying to get it to 10 minutes, exactly. September morn. We danced until the night became a brand new day. I don't really know the words to this romantic play. September morning still can make me feel that way. Four, three, two, one.